Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, I have been getting my period now for 12 years. That's, that's a pretty long time. And in those 12 years, I have only ever used pads. I've never tried a tampon, like literally never even tried one, never tried a menstrual cup, never tried anything, never tried anything. I've only ever used a standard, always sanitary pad. However, this week, next week, next week, next week, that is all about to change because I am due my period next week. Hopefully it comes um, and I am going to be testing some period products. These are all things that I've obviously never tried before. I've got tampons, I've got a cup, I've got period pants, I've got reusable pads. And yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to see how I get on with each product, what I think of it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this idea. And um, yeah, let's get on with it. So I'm gonna start off by unboxing each item and just kind of get my first impression of each thing. Um, but after each product, I am gonna insert a clip of me actually testing it out. But yeah, the first thing I think I'm gonna go for is a tampon. Something that most people have probably tried, but I genuinely have never used one. I've never even attempted to put one up there. Um, so I'm hoping I can get it up there. This is the brand that I have. They're called Day. Some of you might recognize this. I unboxed it in a trying every Instagram advert video, I think like a month ago. But yeah, still haven't actually tested them. So they basically come in this nice little tin and then inside we got some tampons. I do have more than this, but I've just got three of them in the tin. So I've got three different, la, la, la. I was gonna say flavors. They're definitely not flavor. <laughs> I've got three different types, I guess. Um, I've got a regular, I've got a super, and I've got a CBD. Not really sure about that one. I think I'm probably just gonna try the regular in this video. Start off small. I, I, there's not really much else I can do. I'm just gonna insert the clip now of me trying a tampon at the grand old age. I'm, I'm not gonna say my age. It was my birthday recently and I still haven't come to terms with the fact that I'm getting older. <laughs> so I wanted to film all of these testing clips on day one and day two of my period, just because those are the heaviest days and I thought it'd be good to give them like a proper test on like a heavy period day. So yeah, I'm on day number one. My period has arrived, yay. But it means that we can test out the first product, which is the tampon. Here it is. I'm about to try a tampon for the first time. It's quite cute packaging. Um, this one is a regular. Ta-da! I guess I'm just gonna head into the bathroom and I will bring you guys with me, but I'm gonna obviously turn the camera so you can't watch me. But I'll let you hear me. If that's TMI for anyone, feel free to skip ahead or click off this video. But you know, I thought I'd sort of talk you through how it's going. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> He's mesmerized by it. Okay, so apparently I just hold it here, push the applicator upwards, which then pushes it inside. So I'm going to do that now. I think I did it. Oh, I don't know actually. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think I have. Because I can kind of feel it and I feel like you're not supposed to feel it. Okay, um, I think I've done it. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is right. Okay, I think I've done it right, but I don't think I've done it right right. Like I think I've done it, but it's definitely not in enough because I can like feel it. It's like kind of uncomfortable and I know that you're not supposed to feel them. They're not supposed to be uncomfortable. So I don't think I've done it properly. Okay, I've come back in here because as you could probably tell, it's very echoey in the bathroom. I think I've done it right. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have, but I'm thinking surely I haven't because I thought it would take me like multiple attempts. It was really quite easy. I guess that was quite a small one, but yeah, it, it went quite well. I think it's right. Like I can't, I mean, I can kind of still feel it, but it's not like uncomfortable or anything. I don't know. I feel like with practice, you'll get better at it. Yeah, I, I, I think that it's done. It. I think it's right. I guess we'll soon find out if I get a leak then it clearly ain't in properly But I'll keep you guys updated as the time goes on. I guess I, when do you how do you know when to change it? I can't see right. It's been about three hours I'm guessing I did do it right because I haven't had any leaks. Trust me. I have checked a million times I'm so paranoid, but I'm pretty sure I did do it right because there's been no issues But I'm thinking it's probably time to change it now. Like 
bag. Like I said, I don't know how long you really leave it before it's full. That's probably another thing that you kind of get used to over time. You sort of learn how long they'll last before they're full. But yeah, I think three hours probably sounds like long enough. So I'm going to go back to the toilet. I'm going to take it out and I will let you know how that goes, I guess. Right, the tampon has left me. It's gone. I got it out. It was really easy to get out. Like I said, yank the string. Well, I didn't yank it hard. Gently pulled the string. Out it came. Um, yeah, that all went perfectly fine. I feel like it probably was ready to come out. Maybe could have left it a bit longer, but like right now, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't put another one in because I've actually just swapped to a different period product that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But yeah, my overall experience with a tampon was actually pretty good. For my first time, it went a lot better than I thought. Um, and I probably will use them more often. Like, I, I don't know if I'll fully convert to them, but I think I will use them every now and again. I quite liked it. It all went well, all went smoothly. So yeah, success. So the next product that I'm going to try are some period pants. These are basically some pants that you wear on, on their own on your period. They have like a built-in period soaker upper. I find this really odd. I think it's going to feel so strange to be on my period putting pants on with nothing else. But these are by the brand Flux. So they're called Flux Undies. These are the boy short period pants and it says they hold four tampons worth. I mean, I don't really know what that is because, you know, right now, never tried a tampon. Um, But it says it holds four. It's also for a heavy flow. I'm really intrigued to see how this goes and like how long it will last before I have to take them off and then once you've taken them off you've got to wash them so i guess the idea is to buy multiple of these or maybe they last all day oh my god wait i think it said on the website they last all day yeah i got mine in the color black i got an extra small hopefully they fit okay let's have a look so they look okay they look like they might fit me hopefully so this is what they look like they feel nice and stretchy oh it literally feels like Thick. I mean, yeah, that makes sense because this is like your pad. Yeah, apart from that, they feel like regular underwear with just a really thick bit. They have like a really strong, like new clothing smell. Not a bad smell, just really strong. Um, yeah, just this thick padded area there. So I'm interested. I'm so interested to see how this feels and how it works. I will now insert the clip and I guess we will find out. So I'm about to try the period pants for the first time. I'm going to jump in, jump into, I'm going to walk into the bathroom and I'm going to put them on and I'll let you know how they feel. I'm now starting to get my day one period pains, cramps, whatever you want to call them. I can feel them coming. So I'm going to take a paracetamol. Someone is having a very lazy day today. He's been sleeping for so long I was gonna say on his bed this is my weighted blanket my weighted blanket has become a cat bed because he loves it so much so yeah you guys can just watch Mooney whilst I go and put my pants on these are so comfy <laughs> So yeah, I've just put them on. Um, I got the perfect size. Let me tell you, that was bang on. Like they fit me so perfectly. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, it does feel strange. Like I'm not gonna lie. It does kind of feel strange. It feels like I've just put my pants on with nothing else. And it feels like I'm probably gonna leak. But I know that I'm not because it's got like a built-in protection thing. I, I just can't get over how comfy they are. I'm gonna wanna wear these even when I'm not on my period. Um, so yeah, if you couldn't tell, my first impression is pretty good of these. I really like them. Um, I guess I'm gonna go about my day and check in every now and again and let you guys know how they're doing oh yeah they're supposed to last 12 hours it's currently 2 p.m so i will see if these last until 2 a.m luckily i go to sleep at like well not luckily but luckily for this video i go to sleep at like five in the morning so we can do the full 12 hour test i will check back in in i don't know some hours and i'll let you guys know how we're getting on <laughs> please ignore my balloon just chilling now i've got my birthday balloon still i've got my moon i've got my star i've got my little heart anyway Hello. Um, I thought I would do, off you go. I thought I would do a little update before we lose the natural light because it's about, I think it's just gone seven. I don't have my phone near me. I think it's just gone seven. So I guess we're kind of, yeah, that means we're kind of halfway. It's been six hours. And so far, I really, really like these. It does take a little bit getting used to, but I feel like I'm already slowly getting used to it. Like you can obviously still feel when 
your period's coming out. So it kind of makes you panic for a second because you're like, oh my goodness, is it going to work? Is it going to leak? Blah, blah, blah. But so far, no leaks at all. It feels very dry. It feels all clean and nice. Like, it feels really good. So I really like these so far. I don't know if they're going to survive the whole 12 hours, but I will keep you guys updated. I'm going to have to talk quite quietly because Alex is asleep upstairs and it is now like... I think it's like 20 past one in the morning. So I've now had these on for almost 12 hours and they are still absolutely fine. I've had no leaks. I'm confused. I'm like, where's it all going? How is this happening? It's like they're magic. It's been so nice not having to change anything. You almost forget that you're on your period. Like these are so good. I mean, I guess it depends how heavy your periods are. If you're someone who gets like super heavy ones, then they might not work as long for you. But I don't get like super, super heavy. So for me, it's literally lasted the whole time. Um, so all I now need to do, like I'm about to get in the shower, I'm gonna take them off obviously that would help. You rinse them out until the water runs clear and then you basically just put them in the washing machine. So I'll put them in the washing machine tomorrow probably um, and give them a wash and then they're ready to be worn again. So I really like these. I'm definitely gonna get some more of them and use these more often. I think they're a great idea. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So this next product is probably the one that I'm most nervous about. Um, I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get that in there. <sighs> So this is a menstrual cup. It's basically a cup, you put it inside, it collects your period, you pull it out, you clean it, you stick it back in. Mm, where's up to 12 hours? Oh my goodness. So again, it's something that will last all day so you don't really have to change it. Um, this one is by the brand Salt and it's their size small and you've got like a choice of sizes. I was like, I'm getting the tiniest one just, just to be extra careful. Plus, I think I probably would be the smallest. I'm a small person. Um, I got it in the color pink. I mean, they're trying to make it look cute so it's not so scary. I'm scared. Yeah, so this is the small one which holds three tampons. But you can also get a regular one which holds four tampons so yeah let's get it out of the pot and see what it feels like i'm guessing it's like a rubber material okay let's have a look <laughs> so this is oh it's stuck in there <laughs> okay we're out so this is what it looks like i i just can't get my head round the thought of that going up like that's quite a big circumference like <sighs> So yeah, this basically sits inside. This is the area that fills up with the period blood. And then when it's finished, you pull this out. <laughs> probably not too hard or it will all go flying. You gently pull it out and then you tip it out, you give it a clean and then you pop it back in. So yeah, it feels like rubber, like I expected. It's a rubber material. It's quite a thick material. I just can't imagine that going in smoothly. Like I honestly don't even know if this is gonna work. Like I don't know if I'm gonna get it inside, but I am sure as hell gonna try my absolute best. So yeah, I'm now gonna insert the clip of me attempting this. Wish me luck. <laughs> I swear whenever I'm on my period, I just look a little bit more rough. I swear it makes me look paler and just like my skin looks a bit more dull and just blah. Why does it do that? Anyway, it is now day number two of my period. Like I said, day one and day two are like my heaviest days. They're pretty much exactly the same, I'd say. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna be testing the cup. This is the bit I've been most nervous about. I just don't, oh no, I've got fluff on it. I'm gonna give it a good clean before I put that inside me because I've got fluff all over it. But um, <laughs> this is definitely the thing I am most nervous about, mainly because I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that inside. Like it just, how? So yeah, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's just a rubber cup. I'm gonna have to give it a Google. It came straight up. Okay, wash your hands thoroughly. Apply water or water-based lube to the rim of the cup. Tightly fold the menstrual cup in half. So I think you have to kind of go like that. So you fold it, put it up like that, release it inside you like that, and then it's done. It should sit a few inches below your cervix. How do I know? Am I getting a friggin' ruler out? Once it's in there, rotate it. It will spring open to create an airtight seal that stops leaks. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I folded it. Now I just need to try and do the rest. <laughs> okay, I'm probably gonna cut most of that out because I was completely silent because I was just concentrating and trying to do it. I absolutely cannot do it. Like I can't, I've tried for ages, I can't do it. 
how am I supposed to do it? I get it so far, but it's not far enough. I can like get it in a little bit, but half of it's freaking hanging out with me. There's no way that's how you do it. Like you've got to fully get it up there. I actually can't do it. I feel like I'm going to have to give up, but I don't want to give up because I want to test it. Mooney, I just can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I actually think I might have to give up on this one. I'm so annoyed because obviously the point is I want to test these things for the video, but I can't. Like I've tried. I stopped the camera, took a break, tried again. I just can't seem to do it. Um, I've tried different options. I've Googled it. I've, I I need to stop now. Like I need to, <laughs> I need to leave it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to test this one. I think it's definitely one of those things that probably takes a lot of practice to get it right. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But I, I was fine with a tampon do you know why i was fine with the tampon because it had the applicator so i didn't have to be like trying to you know i think i'm just gonna give up i'm gonna give this one a solid fail but i know that it is a really good idea and so many people love these and get on with them really well so it, it gets a thumbs down from me but it also gets a thumbs up because i know so many people love them so the next products are some reusable pads i feel like this is probably the most similar to what i'm used to because like i said i've always used pads but i've never tried some reusable ones um these are them i've got a bunch of them this one is huge wait do they have pockets? There's like a little flap. They're the wings, they're the wings, they're the wings. So these are by the brand Bloom and Nora. They're quite cute, aren't they? They're very nice and colorful. They're very pretty looking. Um, so I got four in this little pack, I guess. Um, I've got like a smaller one, a slightly bigger one, a slightly bigger one, and an even bigger one. Like this one is really large. Let me just compare it to my head. Pretty self-explanatory, well, Clearly not self-explanatory because I thought that was a freaking pocket. But um, <laughs> if you have a brain, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put this in your underwear and then I'm guessing, no, wait, I can't work this out. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so the soft side is the bit that will collect all of the period blood. And then these bits, the little flaps will clip round onto your underwear. And then there's like a little popper just to kind of hold it into place. Does that make sense? I feel like it'll be easier to show you on some actual underwear, but yeah, I get it now. I get it. And then this is what it'll be like. And then when you're done with it, you take it off and I think you just put it in the washing machine. I wonder if it's going to feel weird though. I think it is like it will feel different to normal pads um, because it's like a soft material instead of like a standard sanitary pad material. So I think it is going to feel really strange, but yeah, I'm excited to see how I get on with these. I will, of course, insert the clip now so you guys can go and find out. So I was going to test one of these tonight because I figured I'd have the cup in during the day today. Obviously that didn't exactly go to plan so I'm now going to test one of these during the day. Um, which one? Uh dropped it which one should i go for kind of want to go for the pink one because i like pink and i also think that's probably a good choice it's like the second smallest one so as you can see it's a really soft material like i can't even explain how soft this is um so this is what it looks like let me just flip it over so this side has a little pattern on it i think it's quite cute that they all have like little patterns and then this bit just unpops and you've got the wings to attach it to your underwear so pretty simple hopefully this all goes to plan so i've just kind of placed it over there and then i'm just gonna pop her pop her it on definitely should have picked some nicer underwear for this instead of a pair that are about five thousand years old and they're all bobbly and falling apart but yeah this is what it's like the pad is stuck on just like well it's not stuck on but it's like attached on like a normal pad um and it's just clips on by the little popper feels very secure so yeah i'm gonna go and put these on they are on feels pretty good like really comfy again because it's such a nice soft material it feels very comfy i was worried that it would feel quite bulky because they're quite big but it doesn't actually feel bulky at all i think if i use the bigger one then that probably would i definitely save the bigger ones for nighttime or if i'm just at home which is all the time um <laughs> but yeah this is the second smallest one and it doesn't really feel bulky at all so yeah feels good so far I think I'm gonna kind of leave it for my normal amount of time that I would with a normal pad So I'll probably check back in in maybe about four hours. We'll see how we get on. Um, so yeah See you then. Okay, I'm back. It's actually been a little over four hours, I think. I've kind of lost track of time, but I think it's definitely time to change it. So I'm going to head over to the toilet and we'll see how it's lasting. So far, no leaks, no problems. Seems to be going pretty well. I mean, it definitely done the job. It worked like a normal pad. Um, I took it off. You basically rinse it out until the water runs clear and then you put it in the washing machine, but they also supply this little wash bag. So you can basically put your dirty ones in there and 
then when you're ready to do a wash you can put them in so i feel like that's quite good as well so you don't just have them lying around until you put a wash on i can hear a cat meowing i guess it takes a little bit more work than a normal pad because you've obviously got to rinse it out put it in the wash blah blah i mean it's not really that much of an effort but it does take a little bit more work but i think it is worth it because obviously it's reusable better for the environment better for your bank because you don't have to be buying pads all the time um so yeah i think it is a really good idea again i will probably use these more often i've got so many different things now that i can use more often i'm gonna have a mixture of all sorts i can i can spice it up depending on how i'm feeling on which period <laughs> oh yeah when i took the pad off i did actually swap it for another one i've put the next size up on um it still doesn't feel too bulky maybe a little bit more i mean because it's bigger that makes sense but it still doesn't feel uncomfortable or annoying or anything but i'm gonna go i need to get ready now to stream tonight so i am off but this one also gets a big thumbs up from me. And there we go. Those are my period products that I'm gonna test in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting. I hope it was helpful. I don't know, whatever you got from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you want me to do more of these, I definitely can. If you know of any other like weird period products, well, they're not necessarily weird, but different period products that I could test, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.